Welcome. Welcome to my six looks for Eid. Can't wait to show you some of these are Muslim women in businesses. So let's get started. Right, the first thing you need to do is steam your clothing just to get those wrinkles out and I really like this steamer it has an iron plate so it kind of acts like an iron and it's called Buterol it's handheld easy to use and really fast I really like it I am not sponsored uh, but I really love this steamer and the links are below so definitely check that out if you like it and just steam away all right, my first outfit is called the Alex Abea. Yes, it is named after me by Covered Bliss. It's a beautiful Abea. And the purse I'm using is a Zara purse. And I'm wearing these black heels from Boutique 9. And I really like it just because of the detailing. It has like these rhinestones, black velvet. It's just gorgeous. And it actually sold out, so they just put it in stock. All right, this next one is so fun. It is a red dress from H&M and I'm actually wearing a bodysuit by Rookwear, another woman-owned business. And these bodysuits are just an easy way to wear your hijab, you know, without worrying about your neck showing. So you put that scarf right on top. The scarf is by Culture Hijab. It's kind of like a pinkish beige off-white hijab and I really like it. I like tying it on the side and then I just put my Michael Kors heels. Fit. I love this one. It just makes me feel like a powerful woman. And then I just have my lovely Zara purse. This one, I don't think you can find it, but I'll link something similar below. But this was from a few years ago. Of course, there are pockets in this dress. Just have to say, I love my pockets. I'm just gonna twirl for you guys. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Okay, this next dress is by Modefa. And Modefa is another Muslim woman business and I just love the color, it's sage. Um, so I have a belt, but it is a vintage belt. I actually do not know where I got it from. And these shoes, I have to tell you about these shoes, they're amazing. It's called Mime et Moi, and actually the heel comes out. So you can interchange heels, you can get different heel colors. It's just really cool. I actually got this one, they just started up. My scarf, I forgot, is from Hot Hijab. It is the sage color. Dress, of course, I have to have my pocket. And I have a Louis Vuitton purse right here that I spoiled myself with a few years ago. And that's it. This is my outfit, number three. Wee! The next one is actually a button down dress. It has a pocket, of course, and it is by Michael Corning, another Muslim woman business. I have this really cool belt that is actually from Amazon and I'll put the link below and I just like it because it's kind of a different shape. It's wide and then thin on the side. Um, and that's how I just tied it. Of course, I'm wearing the Rookwear bodysuit and I kind of didn't know which one to use, if I should use a black scarf or if I should use this beautiful scarf by Asimea, more of a, an African print, like an Ankara print. And I just love it so much. So I wore that. And I have these heels that I got from Italy. It's called Liujo. And I have this fancy Chanel bag that I was gifted by my mom. I love you, mom. This next look is by My Heritage Collection. It's the tops and bottom set. And then I put a scarf by Hijab Vault, which has those feathers on the bottom. And I have these heels from Karen Millen. I added some nominal rings and I also added a necklace. And I'm using the same Zara purse I used before, but I just put in the metal straps and I'm just using the wooden handle instead. So it kind of puts the look together. Just love this hand block print with gold, very nice details. 
Just a beautiful outfit. The last one is actually a dress I made um, with this beautiful silk fabric. And then I'm wearing a Lala jersey, green, emerald green hijab. And I got this belt a long time ago from Nine West. And these earrings are from Shirovsky, really pretty earrings, just to put the look together. I have these Charles Davis heels and a Ted Baker purse. And it has pockets because I love pockets. So I put pockets in there when I handmade this dress because everything needs pockets. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this Eid outfits. Please let me know below which one is your favorite. And I'll link all the items as well that I could find. Some of these are older items. So I'll try to find something that's similar. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy Eid.